Determine whether each equation is a proportion. For any proportion in the form of A over B equals C over D, where B and D don't equal zero, the cross products are equal. And the cross products are A times D and B times C. So if an equation is a proportion, A times D must equal B times C. I also want to mention that A and D are sometimes called the extremes and B and C are sometimes called the means. So you may also hear, for all proportions, the product of the extremes equals the product of the means. So for number one, if the equation is a proportion, five times 49 must equal seven times 34. So let's check to see if five times 49 equals seven times 34. For five times 49, let's use the commutative property of multiplication and determine 49 times five. Five times nine is 45. We record the five, perform an exchange with the four. Next we have five times four plus four. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. We now know that five times 49 equals 245 and now let's determine seven times 34, or using the commutative property, let's determine 34 times seven. Seven times four is 28, record the eight, perform an exchange with the two, and then we have seven times three plus two, seven times three is 21, plus two is 23. Notice how the cross products are not equal, because 245 does not equal 238. So the cross products are not equal, the equation is not a proportion. Which also tells us the two fractions are not equal. And now for number two, if the equation is a proportion, six times 18.25 must equal 15 times 7.3, which are the cross products. Again, for the first product, let's use the commutative property of multiplication and determine 18.25 times six. Six times five is 30, record the zero, perform an exchange with the three. Six times two is 12, plus three is 15, record the five, perform an exchange with the one. Six times eight is 48, plus one is 49, record the nine, perform an exchange with the four. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. Because we have two decimal places here, the product must contain two decimal places. The product is 109.5. Now let's determine 15 times 7.3, but once again, let's use the commutative property of multiplication and determine 7.3 times 15. We first multiply by five. Five times three is 15. Record the five, perform an exchange with the one. Five times seven is 35, plus one is 36. And now I multiply by one, but before doing this, we had a zero in the rightmost place value here. One times three is three. One times seven is seven. Now we add five, nine, seven plus three is 10. Because 7.3 has one decimal place, the product must also contain one decimal place. The product is 109.5. Because 109.5 equals 109.5, the cross products are equal, and the equation is a proportion. I hope you found this helpful.